the Election Commission of Pakistan has decided to speed up the constituency delimitation process, aiming for completion by 30th November. While this move contradicts the constitution's 90-day requirement for elections after assembly dissolution, it alleviates concerns about major election delays. The ECP has been discussing the electoral roadmap with various parties lately. This comes in the context of the electoral watchdog ruling out elections this year, as the 90-day limit for polls mandated by Article 224 of the Constitution ends on 9th November. The ECP justifies its decision to postpone elections beyond 9th November by citing Section 17.2 of the Elections Act, which requires constituency delimitation after each official census. In discussions with political parties, the ECP has assured that general elections will take place by mid-February at the latest, possibly even by late January if constituency delimitation concludes earlier. The electoral body said it is committed to working on delimiting constituencies and updating electoral rules simultaneously to expedite the process. PTI President Chaudhary Parvez Zalahi was re-arrested by Islamabad police shortly after the Lahore High Court ordered his relief in a graft case. He was taken into custody under Section 3 of the Maintenance of Public Order, with authorities citing the need to prevent actions prejudicial to public safety. Elahi's arrest is part of a broader crackdown against PTI leaders following the May 9th riots. This move comes despite the LHC's order for his release and a prohibition on further arrest by the National Accountability Bureau. The State Bank of Pakistan refutes rumours of an Emergency Monetary Policy Committee meeting. Speculation had arisen about a substantial policy rate increase due to economic challenges and currency depreciation. In its statement, SBP emphasized that only the Monetary Policy Committee can decide on policy rates and the next meeting is on 14 September. In July, the SBP maintained the policy rate at 22%, following an earlier emergency rate hike of 100 basis points in June due to inflation concerns. India has established a committee led by former President Ramnath Kovin to explore the feasibility of holding state and national elections simultaneously, a concept known as One Nation, One Election. The aim is to reduce politicians' campaign time and enhance their focus on governance. Federal Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi emphasized the importance of mature discussions on this idea, which would be discussed in Parliament. While Prime Minister Modi's government supports the idea to reduce election costs, it's complex and requires changes to state legislature's terms, parliamentary approval and ratification by states, some of which are opposed due to concerns about federal politics and local issues. Opposition parties and regional leaders have expressed reservations about the proposal. A black Wagner flag flies at the crash site where Russia's influential mercenary Yevgeny Prigozhin died in a private jet crash nine days ago. The crash killed all 10 on board, including two other top Wagner figures and Prigozhin's bodyguards. The wreckage has been cleared, leaving behind a memorial of stones and flowers with the Wagner flag featuring a skull and PMC Wagner Group inscription. The cause of the crash remains uncertain, with villagers reported hearing a bang before the plane crashed. There is speculation it may have been intentional, with the Kremlin acknowledging the possibility of assassination.